All um, right, we are happen? live. Welcome everyone who may or may not still be awake. Um, we are, so I'm Rose Too Many Curls. Uh, I have Deanna and Rumple with me and we're here representing House Slytherin um, with an exciting announcement that we have brought back our house newsletter. Yay! And um, we just wanted to have a video to talk about it and say how excited we are. Um, yeah, so our agenda for this is we're each gonna kind of talk for a few minutes about why we're excited and then have links. We can put a link in the description and you can read the very long newsletter. Um, it's very long and full of a lot of good information. Um, do you want to start with kind of your thoughts on the news and what is exciting about it to you? Well, I, um, when I first um, started thinking about joining the newsletter and helping out with it, I didn't really expect it to be so big. And I think the original plan was to keep it pretty small. But then as we started going, it kind of just kind of exploded and everybody got excited about it excited so that was a lot of fun <laughs> um, did you have a favorite section that you got to work on um it actually my favorite section actually wasn't one of the ones i worked on even though some of those are really fun too i actually really like the um the past winter quarter events with all the different awards because it kind of gave a recap of everybody's accomplish, uh, accomplishments throughout the quarter. Yeah, that was a really cool that. section. Yeah. yeah, and it looks so pretty. <laughs> um, Deanna, do you feel prepared? No. I can see you're giving me kind of a hate smile. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everyone watching knows, I forced her to go live before she was prepared with what to say. Um. I mean, um, when I first got promoted to staff uh, at the end of July of last year, our two prefix at the time, uh, Malk was Angel, Tasha, and Zai Janisa, Karen, um, when they first added me to, to their planning chat, uh, the Silver Quill newsletter was like this huge deal to them back then. And I mean, it continued to be this huge thing that everybody talked about in mean, August, September, October, when we got Hayden and Rumble on the team and we did the uh, member survey in uh, September and everybody uh, filled that out. And um, then it was decided that we were going to do the newsletter. Uh, it was unanimous, actually, I think, in the survey to do it quarterly. And once we got all the feedback from you guys on that, we kind of, you know, took off with it. And we wanted to do it, I think, originally uh, at the beginning of the winter quarter, which was in November, which was Nano, and then Christmas, and then everything kind of was crazy with the holidays. And it ended up getting pushed back to now at the end of the, the quarter, which is February. And um, it, yeah, it but it's been like this huge deal for the last, I don't know, how long has it been? Like seven months since I've been on staff. And it's like, it's really been a labor of love. Like I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be like such a thing. And like, I made the graphics for everything. I didn't really uh, write. Well, I did write, end up writing a lot towards the end. I didn't think I was going to write for it. I, I said in the beginning, like, no, I'm a terrible writer of news things. Um, and I really can't, uh, contribute to that. I just wanted to do graphics and then I ended up writing um, all the common room news stuff. Um, not all of it. I didn't do the book club or the Tumblr sections, but I did a lot of the um, all the news stuff and uh, then everybody else did, did uh, all the other sections um, and I made the graphics and it it was a lot more than I thought I was signing up for, but it was so rewarding like to see it all laid out like as everything came together, I was just like really excited um, just so to see it. Like question. I see 
Yeah. When I added in my contribution to the newsletter, I got a notification that we are at the max. Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that the, that the forums had a thing. Apparently, um, you, you can only have 75 emojis. And only 75. <laughs> only. only 75. And I, had, I saw that same notification, and I had to uh, take all my emojis back because I know it, it meant a lot to Deanna to have those emojis, so I saved them for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whereas I, I was more of a, I don't know. I'm glad my section was not one that required emojis. Um, I have so many emotions, you guys. I can't help it. <laughs> but no, I was just, I was, I was there. That ruined my whole day. Like, I can't remember what section I was writing when I got that notification. I think it was, um, I feel like it was the uh, the one about uh, upcoming events, and I really wanted to use the Mad Eye Moody constant vigilance emoji. Like I really felt like that was important, and it was telling me no, I wasn't allowed. And I was like, "What do you mean no?" <laughs> and it said I could only use seventy five emojis. And I was like, "How are we possibly at seventy five emojis in this in this post?" <laughs> And so we took out like I think all the weekly places because Rumpel said that they were troublemaker. <laughs> we deleted a lot of weekly places. <laughs> so yeah, that was the thing. Oh, that was funny. Um, um, all right. I guess moving on to like my thoughts on the newsletter. Um, I gave you like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just really, um, I just really liked seeing it all like laid out. It's really beautiful. Like it's way prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Like I'm so proud of it. I love it. It is very. I think you guys will love it. I think you guys will love it too. I hope so. Yeah. So I think that it's a lot of information that we put together. I like that it takes everything about the site and kind of says, here's all of the, here's the Slytherin slice of what's been going on. Uh, so we have like the site-wide bulletin that talks about like an overview of here's everything for the last month, but this is kind of everything about best house on the site. See what I said there? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think the my other favorite part of it is uh, I don't know, so I really enjoyed reading the Slytherin game room. Interview. <laughs> that was amazing with that. I crashed up several times. Time. Not what I, I was expecting. I had a slip in like two days. <laughs> 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 um, and I had a lot of coffee, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> it, That's it what happened. writing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I do have to say, you did a really great job on the graphics. I, uh, they're beautiful. They have a nice, like, seasonal theme. But overall, I'm really glad that we were able to, like, we set out to do this and got it done. Um, that's a big achievement. But, all right. Mike, can I just say one more thing? Because my favorite part is the common room news section. I didn't say that my favorite part. Okay. And I think okay. when I was talking about, <laughs> originally that was Hayden's part to write. And I think um, we ended up being a team thing that we all took parts and wrote it. And my exact words were, <laughs> when we were writing it was, guys, I want to pimp the crap out of the common room news. <laughs> like, because I wanted to lay out everything we were doing in the common room because we haven't had like there we went through this time where there wasn't like a lot going on in the common room and now i feel like we have so much going on in our common room and it's like the oh, happening yeah. place like i love it so much that there's so much to do in there now like mm -hmm. our common room is legit amazing like it is the place to be and i feel like like i said in the beginning of the post it's like never been a better time to be in slytherin because we have so much going on right now and it's just so awesome and as i was like typing everything out and laying it all out and just 
seeing it all in one place, I was like, oh my God, we're so amazing. Like, I was excited. That's what it's for. Um, all right. I, I think your mouth is really freaking me out. I'm gonna always do my chat like this now. I'm also gonna do them in my Griffin or Snuggy. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're after we've gone past 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure. But I wanted to end on an exciting note, it's something that we touched on in the newsletter, and that my father will hear about these awards. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a, a get hype moment for that. Um, anyway, I think that is the end of our broadcast. You have any closing yeah. remarks? Read the news. <laughs> yes. yes. Read, every word. read all of it. I know it's a lot, but you should really read all of it. It'll be another quarter until you get a new one. So this is all you right. have to you read for the next three months. <laughs> right, you got three months to check it out. Digest it all. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, and quick shout out to Hayden who couldn't make it. They were planning to um, be here. And yeah. All right. Good night, Hayden, everyone. Our new lovely editor. Yeah. Love you. All right. Have a great night. Goodbye. Thanks, guys.